As we sat down here to record Mystery Crate today, Izzy said one of the most obnoxious things I've ever heard anyone say to me. I have He's, a tendency to do that around here. Yeah, he was like, man, I, 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 was, I did the show today, and I, I'm looking around at everybody, and I'm too skinny. <laughs> That's not what I said. What a jerk. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what a jerk. I said, wow. And the last few times <laughs> I've done the show, I've been looking up at the camera, and I've said, man, I've got to put on some weight. I took that as you looked around at all of us, and you were like... <laughs> different different sentence. You and look to the right at me in that chair, and you're like, ah, oh, man, I'm skinny. No. It's obnoxious, dude. I'm no. kidding. I don't, I, mean, I don't even like skinny. I think skinny can be ugly. You are skinny. skinny. Is it, you've gone vegan. Is that why you've gotten skinny? Are you working I mean, out as much as you used to? Yeah, I think it's just a, I mean, theory. I mean, I just probably not as much protein as I used to because mm -hmm. it's a little harder to find. Um, and I don't know if this could be true or not, but it feels like it's just like a bunch of animal nonsense waste mm. just left in my body. Mm. And like, because I still work out the same amount. I still eat in terms of the amounts roughly the same. Maybe stop cutting as many. Maybe work out less. I know that make, doesn't make sense for for most people. But, but you're, you're doing mostly weight training, right? Mostly. Yeah. I'm not doing a bunch of cardio. Yeah, but yeah, weight, weight training isn't really like a high calorie thing. Right. Like you're not burning a lot of calories. So I think it's probably just your... Are you like now? I do get antsy a little bit, and if I haven't done cardio in a while, like I'll go yeah, run three or four miles, right. and then during football season, flag football season, I'm running around like crazy. So I get my cardio in. Mm. So I probably have to do extra, just to eat more. You think you could go vegan for a week, Dad? For a week? Yeah. Yeah. That's about it, though. Yeah. <laughs> if I was your personal chef, you could do it for at least a month, guaranteed. Uh, well, I've I've never developed a taste for the plant-based fake meat. Mm-hmm. And so what have you tried though? I think you're me. doing that thing that Dan accused you of earlier in the week on the show, where you're criti like I'm not going to criticize it because I haven't really tried any of that stuff. Yeah. But even I think even the that, one, I think I've had a vegan uh, the burger. Like I think that's all I've ever that's done. That's what I'm saying. That's what Greg was talking about. Is like the the fake meat, right? The yeah. process, that's right. not. I don't eat that anymore. The first time I went vegan had way too many of those because it was too easy, and I would just you know have it for dinner and be like, oh, okay, we're just eating plant based burgers. But now I have my niece meal prep for us every week. Ooh. And I pay her. And uh, and then, yeah, so we've got good food for the week and none of that f fake meat stuff. It's actual food. Mm. I've never had a vegan burger, so I'm not going to say, ah, that tastes like shit. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I have a metal block against it. Like, right, think it gonna, you think it would taste like, like if shit. If I want a burger, I'm going to have a burger. Yeah. You know, I don't want to have a fake burger that's trying to fool me into it being a burger. When, I, uh, when they had the Impossible Whopper at Burger King, I had a good amount of them, and they taste kind of the same. Did yeah. they always come with cheese and mayo? No, <laughs> that, that, that's how they mask it. Because right. like after a while, it just all tastes like a combination of mayo and lettuce. And Greg, I'm going to make you a hot dog that is made entirely out of a carrot, and you are going to love it. Out of a carrot? A carrot. Isn't that just a carrot? Yeah, but it's a carrot dog, so it's okay. a flavor of a, a hot dog. A carrot dog. Yeah. Okay. What do you what do you all put right. on that thing to make it hot dog flavored? Well, you just kind of shape it into as much as you can right. the shape of a hot dog, and then you basically is it boil or broil? But uh, in this liquid, and this liquid is a combination of like soy sauce, ketchup, liquid smoke, oh, right, a man, bunch of other stuff. I'm listening. And okay. then you just let it sit in there until it gets like fork tender, and let it sit there for another 20 minutes. I happen to make a vegan slaw with it, and you put it all together. But you don't even need the slaw. Like you did it with ketchup and mustard, it tastes like a regular. I'm hot not gonna dog. lie, I'm kind of in on this. I would sample that. I like carrot. Well, you don't um, even have to wait for me to make it for you if you want. The next, if they still have them, this vendor here, the first time I ever tried these was at a Miami Heat game. I asked really? around for a vegan vendor. There was one. He had vegan quesadillas or a he vendor. had a vegan hot dog. <laughs> and I picked the vegan hot dog. And I asked him three times. I was like, are you sure this is vegan? He's like, dude, it's a carrot. And I was like, what? <laughs> and yeah, he showed me what he did. And I was like, I'm going to have to mimic that. I think the key for me would be that you cook the carrot just enough where it has the mouthfeel, the consistency of That's a hot dog. Correct. That's for most people. And then you get the flavor and then boot. In well, Atlanta, we got something called Slutty Vegan. And I promise you, you eat some of those burgers, you would think you're eating the real deal, Daddy. And also, some chicken patties I got uh, at the house. I got these from the, your local grocers. The Morning Star Spicy Vegan Patties. Those are Fire. good? I promise to God. Wow. wow. Try them out. I'm always afraid are. of the, the vegan chicken. And I think it's just because they put a little apostrophe in it. And it's like <laughs> C-H-I-C-K apostrophe N. And I'm just like, I don't know. That apostrophe is like doing a lot of work. Are you full vegan? No. Uh, no, no. I was going to say, absolutely absolutely not. I was going to say, I think you throw it down. <laughs> People should try it. I mean, if you've ever been, like, if you've ever been to a Planta Queen, I think they have a few of those across the country. I think there's two of them there's here. There's one here, yeah. Yeah. Um, there, it's just, 
like really good. Like the idea that you, it's a struggle to make good plant-based foods is it's nonsense. expensive like, though, right? There's so much, no. It's, no? Cheap. it's not really expensive. You're Everything's expensive, expensive at this point. expensive proteins. You buy two steaks, what is that? Like four, 50 bucks if you said nice place? You know how much I paid for frozen peas last night? <laughs> I went to Publix yesterday on the way home. I'm like, I'm gonna make a little There's dinner. There's your first mistake. No. Frozen Publix. peas. A bag, a little bag, it's not like, three, I guess? 350. Oh. I'm sorry. Damn. 350. Two for expensive? seven dollars? I almost didn't get them. <laughs> peas are super peas. underrated. I yeah. like frozen peas. I, I like. I'll throw peas in anything. I threw. I, I was peas making pasta rice. last night with a little sausage. Throw a little peas. Some yeah. peas, peas in there. Good. I yeah. love peas. Anthony has a core memory that makes him hate peas because one time, and this is. I don't know if this is a Spanish thing, Juju. If you could help me out, it might be uh, in your background. But does your family force you to eat whatever's on your plate? Absolutely. So that happened to him one time. <laughs> And it was at his aunt's house, and it was peas. And he just did not like peas. And she's like, you're not getting up until you eat all uh, those peas. Not only she forced him to eat it, he threw up all over the table. I was with that, I was all at, over the table. I was with that, that way with eggs for a long time. Because my grandma was like, you're going to eat those eggs. And you're going to eat this banana. And I was like, grandma, I'm dying. And she's like... Oh, so eggs I hated for a long time, and then right. now, but not back now. But my granddaddy done woke me up plenty of night at the, <laughs> at the dinner table. Go to bed, bro. Just go to bed really? and throw out the peas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> the fall asleep. I'd rather fall asleep than have to eat something I don't like. But vomiting on the table, I feel like if you're a parent, you learn your lesson there. Like never do that yeah. again. Yeah, it, it's so, sort of inhumane, isn't it, guy. to force someone to eat something until they vomit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma used to make you eggs a lot, huh? Mine too. My grandma, God rest her soul, your mom, Nana, love her, did not make good eggs. Yeah. Very runny. Very watery. Very yeah. runny eggs. Yes. While you right. guys are both here, I know why we say, who won? But Juju doesn't know why we say it. So can you guys rehash that, yeah. uh, that yes. inside joke? Yeah, every time, uh, it, and it would usually be my brother was down visiting, so Christopher, my brother, and I would play golf. My brother and I stink. Christopher's really good. So there's no doubt who won, but every time we walked in all sweaty from golf, my mother would be there on the couch also visiting, and she would say, who won? <laughs> And it's like Who Nana. Won? Every Christopher time, Christopher did like again. It was just like, oh, Christopher did Nana. But she would say it just like that. Yeah. Who won? And would she be Who surprised won? every time? Yeah. It's like, oh, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> I think Dickie's gonna win this game. <laughs> you have a great old lady voice. You do. The best yeah. was going to the grocery store with my Nana and my uncle Dick, and like them being like they would get separated, and my Nana would just Dickie, <laughs> Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> like, was, Did you ever get lost at the grocery store, Chris? I didn't because I was, I was I'm a big uh, cart rider. Like I'm 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 riding that I'm getting on the front. I'm I'm riding like a gar like a garbage truck. Hmm. Kind of. <laughs> you guys know like the gar you hop yeah, on, hop off. Front, I'm not getting pushing. in. I'm not yeah. sitting in the kid chair. Correct. My daughter does it now. She takes after me in this. She loves to just ride on the front of the train. My parents lost me at Uno's once. What? It's a, they tell everyone this story. The I Italian was like joint. three. And I was in at they were at Uno's and the waitress or wait, waiter like sat them at their table. That's deep dish Uno's. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Chicago. yeah. Chicago. Yeah, it wasn't in Ch Chicago though. Apparently, it was like somewhere. There's one in Orlando. In Orlando. Yeah, I think it was in Orlando. We were like on a Disney trip or something. I don't this know how. This is actually you knew a that. great <laughs> segment potentially for it could be this show. It could be the main show. Um, old show bits that you don't get that you just right. need a reminder of. I have one, um, and I don't really know if it's a show bit, but. I don't know what COB stands for. When when oh. when when Stu God says COB, I'm like, was that like some sort of acronym that we don't know about, yeah. like cash on delivery? And did he just screw that up? Like I have no Should idea. Should we all tell him? Like we all know this, right? right? I mean, know this one. Close of business. That's <laughs> what it was. Oh. oh, I don't know that acronym either. Yeah. I actually Juju. didn't know that one I, either. I, I know it as EOD. <laughs> Yeah. End of day, yeah. Yeah. End, end of day, end, end of day, COB, or yeah. EOB, end COB. of business. I thought everyone knew. It was just I me and Juju that was a stew thing that he <laughs> no. just messed COB up. is when Willow nibbles you. She's cobbing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually have another. It's this is sort of in a similar vein, a story that I have told on the show before. But you said your parents losing you at a pizzeria. Uh, my parents lost me in the New York City. <laughs> New <laughs> York City. You guys watch what we do in the shadows? No. no. I've seen two. You are the most devious bastard in New York City. I thought you were talking about the El Paso salsa. <laughs> <laughs> New York City. New York City. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was being babysat by my father, and everybody else in the family left, and we lived on the 26th floor of an apartment in uh, the east side of Manhattan, and my dad fell asleep, and somehow I left. I was... Uh, I think one. I think she said I was like 11 to 12 months old. Wow. Walked 
somehow got down all those, you know, probably just hopped in an elevator, looked around and said, hey guys, and just jumped in the, and um, a friend of the family found me like a block and a half down the street in like a long t-shirt. He said I looked like a girl because I guess I had like fluffy hair. And so he pulled up my shirt to see if I was a boy or not, <laughs> realized I was a boy and then Jesus. said, oh, I know this kid. And then took him back to my grandparents' house. <laughs> wow. And my mom had basically gotten home about three minutes before I got turned in, if you will. And she was about to kill my dad. I have a lot of questions about this good mm -hmm. Samaritan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How good of a Samaritan yeah. is this? Mm, really? Yeah. If I was a girl, you're saying there might have been the a whole, different like, ending? I'm just going to maybe ask. Like, yeah. I, would, I would just kind of just, either way, I'm going to save you. Well, listen, so I don't, really I don't need remember to know. every detail. I was yeah. a toddler. Obviously, I don't remember any of this. They told me this story a bunch of times. How he figured out I was a boy, I, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm like, are you Israel Gutierrez? Yeah. <laughs> <You're a toddler. laughs> Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Who won? Speaking of Unos, though, we just a little segue. I got a question. That is the world most famous question ever. Do you stack a draw two over top the other draw two that someone oh, else Oh, and Uno? This is a big Uno Two Uno draw thing. twos out? Like, That's yeah. how I want to play. My wife and my kid, like, I don't play that way. I think it's funner when you stack them up. And yeah. Official, the next... official rules, and Uno did this yeah. on Twitter a couple official years back. Schmichel, they yeah. said, no, you can't stack them. Don't tell me my house rules. Yeah, house right. rules are house rules. It's the same way with pool. Once you I can play pool like the traditional, really yeah. strict way at every bar you yeah. go to, but nah, you're gonna play the way you know friends yeah. once, play. Once yep. I purchase the Uno cards, the rules are mine to create. There we are. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, make it no. your own game. Exactly. Yeah. So if I want to, and it's funner if you stack like, oh, draw, draw four, draw four. The next guy's drawing twelve <laughs> cards. That's great. Right. Yes. That's but fantastic. Don't you can't stack a draw four on top of draw twos. That's no, 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 that's different. No, 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 that's totally crazy, different. Yeah, like this is the tweet right here. Yeah. Also, and, uh, like, who are you to tell? Tell me. Uno needs to know who it is to be Uno. Like Uno now has, uh, not not surprisingly, this Uno brand. They're like, all right, how do we grow and make more money? So there's different versions of Uno now. There's like two sided. Oh, it's overcomplicated. I'm telling you. Wacky. I might be a violator. I think I might be a violator because over rule. Uh, over yeah, the draw four rule. Because in college, I used to be like draw four, draw four, draw no no, draw two, draw two, draw two, draw four. Uno out. Yeah, <laughs> just like all your cards. You know what I mean? So I, I mean, think I have violated it. If you get dealt that good a hand, I mean, you deserve to win. Yeah. I mean, they have this one Uno game that if you pick a card at the wrong time, a bunch of cards shoot at your face. Oh. And that just seems random. Like, how did I lose? Just because the machine told me I was going to lose. There are far better feelings in the world than having, like, three cards left and they're all wilds. <laughs> oh, you're, you're just in. like, my daughter's yeah. sitting over there and I'm like, there's nothing you can do right now. <laughs> and then she hits me with, like, a draw four and I'm like, damn it! <laughs> Got your ass. She beats you a lot, When's the last time you played Uno? Um, you guys are speaking a foreign language. You don't even here. know Uno? What? I know the oh, name. Wow. I know the name of the game. I knew it was a card game. I couldn't tell you the rules when you guys are talking about draw two, draw four, stacking. This is crazy. I have it's, no it, idea. It's a very simple game of colors. That's all you have to See know. what kind of childhood oh, okay. I had? Never played Uno. <laughs> so with it's me. not numbers, it's colors. No, there are numbers and you can match numbers or you can match colors. Okay. And you go around trying to get rid of your cards, and then when you get to the last card, you yell Uno. Or you have to draw. Here's That's a question. I have a rule. Thank Here's a you. question. How me. many cards? If 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 you yell Uno for me, how many cards do I pick up? I think it's also like a two. Pre really? That's it. I think it's two. Yeah, Follow. we have I, Google. I think Hold that's on. what we do. Is we two. Uh, okay. What is the rule? On How when you are able to say Uno and when somebody can catch you. Because most of the times, people say it with the card in their hand oh, yeah. as they're putting it down. It's like I didn't put I the card down the yet. the rule is you got to put it down before you can say it. I am so slick with my six-year-old with this. Yeah, I'm Juju, like, Juju is, Uno. Juju is correct. You draw two cards when you do not get Uno. But I'm going to mm. need Juju's ruling on this then, too. What is the rule on saying Uno? You Read gotta, us the rules for calling Uno, but go ahead. you got to get creative. you got to... Deke out the the other players, kind of like, like uh, mm. or you act subtle. Oh, no. I'm yeah. always like, oh man, I guess I have to reach for a card here. Oh no, I'm just kidding. Right. No. Like you always gotta do like the little like it's, I'm not like where a, if you you can't separate, you gotta keep them together until the last second. And so you don't. It's not like poker. You don't have to show your cards. Like you can make it seem like you've had one card the whole time. That's you know right? another like, move. Because if you That's only have to, some people hold their cards under the table, I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. Cards gotta really? be above the <laughs> table. Up, yeah. I have no idea. Have you ever met this have. person? You play with this person where they're like, all right, uh, the color's blue and seven right now, so I'm gonna, this, the top card here is blue and seven, but I'm throwing down like four cards at once. Like, if people get slick uh, with like, you stack them up against each other, I've so it's like, look here, I'm throwing down this blue like seven, that. but uh, they really just put down three cards. Have you That's like next level cheating, yeah. It's like, it's a little much. It's some 69 guys out there too, where they Put a nine on top of a yep. six because it's upside down. Yep. You, you have mm -hmm. to pay attention. Watch Damn where that line is. 69 guys. Where's that line? <laughs>
<laughs> Where is that line? It says, if you don't yell Uno and you're a cop before the next player begins their turn, you must draw two cards. Once, once a player has no cards left, the round is over. The, the controversy is when I'm putting the card down, yeah. before I before I release the card, someone tries to catch me on Uno. Right. No, you have to have a release because you don't have Uno left until you put it down. Right. Is like, a, Graceland, is that Santa? Yeah. Uno. No, oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> at the, same, at the same time, you cannot call it, you can't pre-Uno. No, you don't even know. Is I there do that exactly. a false Uno penalty? There has to. If oh, we'll you find yell out. Uno for somebody else thinking they only had one card and forgot, but they had two, I think that's a penalty. Yeah. I think you pick up two cards for that. I think yeah. you should too. I mm -hmm. self-imposed that penalty on myself uh, when I was in Orlando last month with my family when I called Uno and my nephew and he had two cards and I picked up two cards because <laughs> I'm a good player. Well, nice. Self-imposed penalty. A little pre-Uno. A, you know. a fair nice. player. Yeah. A fair player. Probably yeah. not a good player. Man of integrity. Yeah. A man that reminded the teacher that homework was due. That's Welcome you. to Mystery Club. <laughs> Welcome to Mystery Club. Hey! hey. <laughs> I've been, I've been wanting to do like a not a Tony Show style thing, but like a Metal Arc After Dark game night thing. Yeah. Because me and Danny GQ figured out how we can hang a camera from right above where you guys are sitting. Oh, and I got the, the camera game. will be pointed down, and we can play, and the and the board will have like its own camera. Oh, that's great. So like, if you would do Risk or something like that, you can see the game board at all times. I like catchphrase. We play catchphrase. Mm -hmm. It's that. Uh, there's so many versions game. of this type of game where it's like they get a list of things you can't say kind of thing. Well, it's no, it's basically hot potato or musical chairs, mm -hmm. but in a game, right? So it tells you what you have to give the other person uh, to say, and there's no rules. You just can't say that. I mean, yeah. the rules are you can't say it rhymes with, you can't say it starts yeah, with, yeah. silly things like that, but you can do whatever you want, and then the timer's going off as you're talking, and so it goes faster, tick, 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 yeah. tick, tick, and then when it gets to the end, everybody's nervous, and they can't really say it. Yeah. and then if it, it goes off in your hand, the other team gets a point, and if you steal it, Mm. Like, if they give enough clues where the other team can now steal your answer, you get two points. Mm. And that game is fun. I love by the end, night. people start throwing the thing at each other after they get the clue. It's, it's chaos. Love a good game night. Yeah. What was the game where you were trying to give somebody a clue on, on a word you were thinking of? Clue. No, no, but you, taboo. You, you, you couldn't say anything aloud. <laughs> taboo. You were drawing. Pictionary. Oh, Pictionary. Pictionary, Pictionary. Pictionary is okay. a great game for something that we're trying to do here. Because yes. then like, you show people drawing, and it would be right. good. We played Taboo, the first Tony show, and it was like you have to give hints. So there was no drawing, but there was like certain words you can't say. Came out right, shortly no. after Tic-Tac-Toe. Not surprising. <laughs> My dad is a good drawer, so it's not surprising that Pictionary really? would be... Like he's the kind of like right now you should do this and you can show the camera after just draw like a face. He he. My dad is way too he's many a sneaky good artist. artist. Well, the key to the key to Pictionary though is that you need to be able to draw something just like that. Like what animal is that? What an animal? A bird? It's a spider. Oh, spider. I guess the key to talking like Michael Caine. <laughs> Well, I, drew, I drew it too quick. Greg, I mean, Chris, I, I just said you're a good artist. I was going to say, it's a cat. never. It's like, a cat. Dad, never. Dad, draw, like, betrayed you. draw someone's face. Like, I just said you're a good artist. And you, and you've you never you talked him up to such disappointment before. What a sad cat. Like, I just said my dad's a good artist. I drew it in two seconds. But draw, like, flex a little here. Draw something impressive. I don't know what to draw. All right, we'll talk while you're doing it. We're not going to watch you. Let him just... I don't know. I just want to watch. He's, I'm just saying he's, he's line just better than me. Line. Like, I, I do not have, or like, drawing is not a skill of mine. It's not my thing. So I'm really looking into this Uno rules here, and I don't really see a mention of calling a false Uno. And apparently mm. there's customizable cards where you can draw your own rules. I've never played with any of those. I have. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. Wait, you're saying that other people can't call Uno on me? No, no, no. Like, if you put down the card or and like or someone calls Uno on you and you don't have it there's you no you actually have two cards yeah oh, there's, there's no like no penalty, penalty yeah, for them, for them. Mm. Richard Nixon there wow I, I, I'm sorry to the audience for saying <laughs> for that my dad was a good drawer because <laughs> Hold on, show the camera. You know he? what? He show, went from the a, 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 a cat that you could not discern what it was to a pretty decent Richard Nixon. Oh, Which right, camera are you going to right, 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 The one right in front of you. Is yeah, there you go. He's got it. He's got it. On the preview, there you go. Uh, um, it's not good. Like, yeah. He can do way better than that. It's not terrible. It's, it's, it took me 10, 12, I thought you, 15 like, seconds. I just remember you like doodling at a restaurant, and all of a sudden you're holding up a napkin, and I'm like, wow, that's pretty if good. If you were to ask me what U.S. president this was, I would say that is either Richard Nixon or George W. Bush. Either way, it looks like a president. Okay. Hey, thank you. It's like, who died and made me? Pablo Picasso. I love, yeah, I, love, <laughs> so, I love how you say it looks like a president, so it's just a regular human being at any moment. It's like a presidential <laughs> human. Yeah, exactly. You, can there you, go. Down, dude. you want to turn Nixon into a balloon? Guy. There. How's like, that? It's wow, like J.D. Nixon Vance. No. What, Hello. What, what, other, what other game should I consider for my game night idea? Hmm. I'm thinking like tabletop games. I saw a post online on Instagram the other day that a, a family was renovating their house and they pulled up 
the carpet, and underneath the carpet, there was a full-sized Monopoly board. Oh, wow. Like a human-sized Monopoly board. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll look it up right now. Yeah. Human-sized? So human yes, yeah, so the yeah, humans like, are the pieces. Yeah. Right, that oh, wasn't a good wow. situation, probably. It probably was like a hostel before they moved in. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get the picture real quick. Well, if, wow, so how big are the dice? I, 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 I don't know how they did easily. it. They need to make a speed Monopoly game. My only problem with Monopoly is it's just too long. It goes on forever. Takes forever. forever. It takes forever. Well, there uh, needs to be like a one-hour Monopoly game. A, a Monopoly a deal. Of, I, I think uh, Jessica Smetana, she does Monopoly yeah, deal. It's like a card game version of Monopoly. Really? It's like, yeah, yeah. like a Uno. You don't know Uno, but I think it's like a Oh, like I that. would play that. You know what? Yeah. I, I was at a housewarming party the other day, and I was about to mention the fact that... Um, Did you bring a gift? Well, that's <laughs> that's what annoyed me. I was about to mention the fact that they offered Settlers of Catan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get your thimble ass over here. Mike, we can hear you. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Juju were talking about how they probably use Monopoly board to play like crazy sex games. Get your thimble ass over here. Mark yeah. that. <laughs> See that? Well, you guys could barely, probably barely yeah. see that. Oh, wow. That is huge. Yeah, underneath oh, wow. the living room carpet. Wow. Yeah. So I, I was, I was going to mention that I was annoyed that they offered Settlers of Catan as a game night game. But that's what really bugged me, Chris, is if you have a housewarming party, mm -hmm. now you can register? For a housewarming Ugh. party, oh, that's like crazy. so. Worst. Now, when you when you get married, people give you gifts. When you have baby, people give you gifts. When you have a housewarming, you can register for that. That seems like a bit much. Yeah, that's like friend inflation. Like Listen, you, you shouldn't have to pay that much just to be friends with someone. Yeah, you're right. getting a toaster and you're loving it. That's yeah. it. You're, you're not getting anything. You're, getting <laughs> you're not getting anything. I'm coming over. Your house McDonald's? will be warmer because I'm you're in. You get a bottle of wine. Yeah, you're That's getting a, a mid-price bottle of exactly. wine or, or a hanging plant. Correct. That's all you're getting yeah. from it. Yeah. Or the live, laugh, love sign. Yeah, there what, you go. what we yeah. actually did is pretty much to that uh, thought is we bought him a bottle of uh, extra Añejo tequila. Oh, <laughs> Drank okay. about three quarters of that thing before we left. Before you left, yeah. It's a gift for everyone. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're all here together. You know? Alcohol yeah. is the play, for sure. Yeah, it always. is. Yeah. And also, like for, I feel like that's always a safe gift for like an older man. Like my dad, after a while, you can't get him anything. He buys everything himself. And then, like, you know, I could take him to games and stuff. But after a while, it's like, what are you drinking lately? Here you go. Because it's just <laughs> easier to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. One time, I Ubered it straight to my cousin's house. I totally forgot. And I'm like, oh, you drinking whiskey? Jameson. <laughs> 30 minutes later, it was there. Yeah. Did you guys see that there was a uh, transition? Did you guys see that there was a list from Awful Announcing of the top 10 around the horn panelists of all time? <gasps> and you made it. <sighs> Did not. Man, Whoa, I it insulting. I made the OLI. I made no honorable way. mention. Oh, I nice. saw you. I saw. I know the, the thing you. I, I saw you on there, so I mistook you for top 10. I made well, honorable you mention at, with some, Pablo Torre. Some people, at least now, mention. it proves that if you're on the honorable mention, some people just associate right. you're in there. There you they, go. So, they, right. We're a celebration. It didn't really bother me that they misspelled my name. It's kind of like the SNL cast thing. Like, who? It, it, who it's, <laughs> it's one of those things where you don't expect to be in the top 10, but when you start seeing people who are, yeah. that's when you get mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it Name names. Who, it wasn't you see up so there? much that I wasn't in the top 10 that bothered me. It wasn't so much that they didn't spell my name ah. correctly. They Ouch. put it in the bold one. It, in print, it was correct, like in the actual text of it, but in the bold listings of who made the honorable mention, I didn't make it. What bothered me is in that explanation of why I was an honorable mention, it called me, and this was the best, I guess, compliment I got, a volume shooter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Like, so, first of all, if, if I'm on Around the Horn a lot, it's because they ask me to yeah, be on Around exactly, the Horn yeah. a lot. But secondarily, volume shooter? Like, I'm somebody that just gives take after take after take after what? take. Like, say, like, oh, he pours his heart out every once in a while. He shows. But volume shooter? It's like they didn't even, like, they've never seen an episode that I've been on. Did, that one didn't make it. Did, did we invent that term for Carmelo Anthony? I thought it was Allen Iverson. It could be. But yeah. yeah. And Jorge Sedano. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? what's wrong with George? <laughs> they must have just been talking about your Halloween costumes. Because That's the other you're thing. You're a volume Halloween costume <laughs> shooter because you are impeccable. Conor McGregor. Thank you. I, look, I fell off toward the end, and that's probably because I had to do that stuff at home because I had the studio at home and yeah. I didn't have any help. But. That's their most famous episode, their most popular episode, and they call me the king of Halloween, and I'm an honorable mention with two T's. Now this didn't bother you, clearly. That's right. I haven't. No, you weren't bothered. Yeah, I don't bother at all. I started looking at the list. I have not gone to the top five yet. Woody Page has to be number one, right? In, like I've seen sign, Woody Page. I, I, don't, I don't remember. Sign. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing maybe Black Stone, of Woody Page. I don't, I don't remember. Shaw. I'm, I'm just talking about like the old yeah. Jackie McMullen. No, like, I don't. I don't remember seeing an episode where I don't see Woody Page. I think Woody yeah, was number two, yeah. if I recall oh. the list correctly. Man, all right, let me scroll I know, here. I know. J. A. Adonde's got to be up there. Yeah, absolutely. J. A. J. A. Not I wonder only. what J. A. stands for. 
I was going to say, I've, I've been sitting on this joke forever. If I ever said, like, a goodbye, J.A., you're not only a great friend, but a great starting hand in poker. But I don't know. <laughs> people are really going to get that. It's not, it's not a bad joke, but you gotta, if you don't play right. poker, you don't think yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good joke. Though. We like actually, that. let's make some news here. Why don't you, why don't you comment on uh, Around the Horn ending? Oh, is it? I saw, I saw a story <laughs> that said it might come to an I end the, August twenty fifth. Yeah, that's what I heard. No, that's what I meant. Like they've announced that it might. Oh, is that not? Is that, is that no. not confirmed? Oh, that's no, just not reports. Confirmed. Okay, that's sorry. Just, never no, mind. You know how those Don't reports speak on are. It, They're usually pretty true. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I had no idea about that. I have no idea about the future of the show or anything. In fact, okay. I haven't been on the show since June. Oh, hmm. Okay then. Uh, nice. Oh, well. That's oh. why. That's why they disrespected you on that list. They just haven't seen you. Probably recency bias. Recency bias. You got something to say, Chris? <laughs> we'll be back. Chris, I have something to admit. Oh, boy. But I, it's like, I'm not ashamed to tell you. I'm ashamed to tell, like, Mike Ryan and Amin and them. But I very much regret asking to be a part of the shit chat. <laughs> Why? I, I, first of all, I mean. It, the, I feel like people have mailed it in with that. There's like not one Amin El Hassan. There, I was like Amin mm -hmm. and Zach Harper and Brad Williams are really into it. Everybody else, I feel like has. Yeah, no, they're see Amin. We probably should have known this, right? Like he's so descriptive when yeah. he talks about his dreams. Annoyingly descriptive. He I'd is say. as descriptive when he's talking about yeah. pooping. Like smell, I just go emoji texture and everything, and I'm just like, oh, and I never get more scared than when I see on the previews, uh, shit chat. Image attached. Oh yeah. What oh, is that boy. picture? Yeah. What is that picture? <laughs> I luckily, don't see it. luckily for you, we've never had never. anyone Thank throw in goodness. a piece of shit. Because I had a, a roommate in college who had a very long turd. Was Always? super impressed by it. No, just one. Oh, okay. okay. Super impressed <laughs> like by a it. Weird took thing. a picture of it, put it on a t-shirt, and wore the t-shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Throughout college, so that had me scarred. A shit shirt. Wow. A shirt. I got a homeboy. Who randomly every now and then he'll take a massive dump and just send me the picture. Yeah, right? oh, I'm like, no. you son of a. I feel like we all have that friend. I, I've been sent a few shits in my life. Yeah, for sure. and it's like honestly, I've stopped. There was one time where Brad randomly, Brad Williams randomly texted me. He was like, "Please participate in the shit chat." I was like, wow. I don't know. "Was this like a conversation? Were you guys talking wow. about me behind my back? Like, hey, maybe he's got some, wow. you know, incontinence or mm -hmm. something." But yeah, so now if every once in a while I'll throw the emoji on there, but then I don't know, I just feel like it's gross. Like yeah. you don't need to know if I'm pooping yeah. and if you're doing it at the same time, is that cool? I do all like sometimes <laughs> I'll wait 10 minutes. If I'm actually pooping yeah. and a text comes in like from Mike that he's pooping, I'm like I don't want to just put back right now. Like then he'll think I'm pooping only cuz he's pooping. <laughs> so I'll wait like 10 minutes later mm. and be like now I'm pooping That's even though I'm really done. Poop. Even though I'm really right. done pooping. So you're worried that he's thinking that you're only pooping cuz he decided I don't to want poop. Mike thinking that I'm just pooping cuz of him. Oh, right. And I also don't know how to ask out. I don't know how to ask out. You, know, you can just leave. No, you just should, you should wait till the next notification come up and then just take that as I'm leaving. Yeah. And so that person would always feel mm -hmm. bad. Like, yeah. My shit was one too much. The next time you're repulsed. Is this conversation proof that there really are too many group chats? Yes. Is there any chance yes. that <laughs> yeah. it's a good, there's it's a good, proof of that? Yeah. There's way too many on Mike's phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let, let me ask you this in all seriousness. Go ahead, cause, ask. Because proudly I am not in the, the shit chat. <laughs> Um, Check. What is a typical comment? It's just about one zone. The way it started was poop emojis. When you poop, it's just like a logging system to make sure we're all regular as a group. Oh, uh, okay. Other. So it's like yeah, it's good to know. Poop, poop emoji, poop. Like when am I pooping? Now I can look back at the week. Okay. And say, oh, okay, I tend to poop in the morning. Like, they yeah, like to right. tell you where, like what city they're in. Amin is always oh, like okay. pre radio yeah. eight. Eight, uh, eight Indian food last night, and it's all like he gives like way too many details. Oh, like wow. whereas most people are just poop emoji. It's, I'm pooping. Yeah, it's part culinary chat. It's part travel chat. It's part. Group you chat. complaining it's... about group chats is hilarious because the one group chat I'm in with you is our uh, uh, bowling group chat, mm -hmm. and it's literally my father-in-law, my good friend Anthony, and my my brother. Those are the people outside of me and my dad in it. Right. And my dad is just so confused by this. He has my brother's <laughs> number. So now there's two other numbers. My friend Anthony and my father-in-law. He's just like, why doesn't it say their name? What's with the name? And I'm like, dad, you, you can save their name. Like, I don't know either of their phone but, numbers by heart. Right. But it's one of those things where that's your control. Like if you went in, you can set, okay, this number is this person. I don't want to work that hard. They're texting but me. it's so funny the way he, he's just like, how do I know which one's Al and which one's Anthony? All I see is phone numbers. And I'm like, oh, this is such a funny conversation. put Al or Anthony instead but of a phone you number? You can do that. <laughs> they, like, let them do it for no, me. No, They're no. Trying they to need text to me. sign their text. That's what Greg <laughs> used to 
initial, initial. Because we're both in yes. together. We're in one more together, the Fantasy Football League. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in that one as well. But yeah. in that one, people had the courtesy to sign it at first. Right, like, right, Hey, right. this is, I'm Jew. Yeah, thank you. He does, oh, that group chat? Oh, my God. He's just like, <laughs> I don't, you tell me when I need to be, like, I'm not even reading that group chat. <laughs> well, I mean, group chats. Come on. <laughs> That's because of Alex. Salute to Alex. Yeah, Alex. Be, yeah. <laughs> I had my first spinoff of a group chat where uh, oh, I think yeah. Ethan over here started a Puck Boys chat off of our hockey chat. And I'm like, I don't, I can't keep up with this much. It's basically the hockey chat for people who don't want to use invisible ink when they talk about other stuff. Yeah, that's basically oh, what, right. it, what it came like. We want, it's, a, it's not even really a hockey chat. It's more it's like no rules social chat. guys chat. Yeah, I'm, not it. I'm offended. Ink. It's a we're tired of Mike's rules. I hate, chat. dude. <laughs> yeah, the no charges, just thing love or something like about that. About being in a group chat with Mike Ryan is the invisible ink. It's just yeah. his friends do. I'm not blaming him. He's not even often the biggest culprit of this. I hate the pictures where I don't right. want to like scan yeah. a picture. If you're putting a picture in here, just have it be a regular picture. All right. And if it's invisible, I, don't read I it. better be Sham Wild. <laughs> I better be blown away <laughs> by whatever that picture is. It's like, oh, this guy re signed with wow. Calgary. Oh, I don't like that. Well, but not see, that, that, well that's invisible ink worthy. Well, because the invisible ink in that chat is supposed to be for non hockey items, I think. I never told me these rules, I'm Correct. assuming. The non hockey yeah. items are a chug. Like, you're not right. supposed to go in that chat with any that, non hockey That's what items. I. Thought. What's the Puck Boys chat? <laughs> why am I not? I'm offended. Why I, is there a why yeah, is there a section of the one. hockey chat that so I'm not a part of? Ethan right. Ethan created this chat. This Ethan one, is very yeah. Eager. One of these right. days when he was like probably well, had a little too much to drink at right side. What's the and, re like? What is this that like the puck boys talk? Cause, what? Because there there were guys in there who were like we wanted to chat, but we didn't want to invisible link everything. Like he said, so we just like started talking, and then he's like, "Who should be in here?" I'm like, well, I don't know. It's your thing. So wow. he invited like some like, people. Look, look at him trying to distance right. himself. Said, everybody this except Chris Fuentes and Ethan coming up with a group. First of all, don't put me in it. Ethan. Came up with that. This eager Ethan. Ethan and Mochetter. Quote. Salute to Ethan. New chat for the hockey homies <laughs> that want to talk to each other, but don't necessarily want to talk hockey all the time. Whoa. Signed, Ethan. Ethan, thank you. And uh, what the what? Thank you for absolving me. Signed, Ethan. Who's that's in, too far. Who's in that chat? <laughs> right. And why wasn't I added? Real quick, Fuentes, uh, I don't have your number saved, so he's. So I only know there's two people in this chat that I don't know. Uh, Read off the names that you know. I, I'm Ethan, living right now. Ethan, Ethan, he right now, he in Paris, I think, with the Olympics. No, no. Fuentes, am I okay? Am I going to get in trouble? Yeah. Am I going to get kicked out of the chat? No. No. I'm okay? We're here. Josh Appel. Yes. Mauricio. Oh. Uh, Ross. Uh, uh, I am livid. Ethan. Fuentes. Those are the ones that I have. I am livid. You're in. <laughs> Damn. I am livid. <laughs> hey, Ethan. Talk to Ethan. Whenever I he gets back livid. from Connecticut or whatever he's doing. Why are you livid? I'm not. He's not. <laughs> he just talked about how he wanted less group chats. And I'd be like, thrilled to be left out of somebody's group chat. Are you kidding me? Is my Ecuadorian friend in there? Who? Mike's Ecuadorian friend. Oh, yeah. Friend. That's, oh, that's oh, Joel, I think. Joel. Yeah. Uh, he's in the main hockey chat. As much oh. as I hate this many group chats, if there's not a response to my attempt to be funny... Oh yeah, F you guys. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Over with. Give, there is give something me a about. Ha -ha, oh no, something. I'm with you. If if you write something in a group chat and then like nothing is written for six hours, it is yeah. a bad feeling. Right, mm -hmm. like, she wrote. Does like, that also apply to the shit chat where you, you make a <laughs> a very solid description about what you've just done in the can, and it just sits there. It just dies. Nobody probably responds. Flush. Nobody that says, happens. "I wish I was you." That sounds like a glorious experience. <laughs> Nothing. There's was, some back and forth, but it's usually Zach and Amin. Yeah. Okay. Like right here. Here's today at 10.41 a.m. Amin, first dump back on the mainland. Oh, no. <laughs> he was in Hawaii, Hawaii. for a wedding. Well, see, that's historic. Hawaii. So I can see that. Ain't Hawaii considered the mainland now? I, uh, yeah. I, I, think, he, I think he meant uh, 50 continuous, right? Yeah. Or yeah. 48 continuous. 48. Yeah. And then he sent an Instagram video and said, watch this video. It looks like it's a, it's just like something oozing out of a cup that looks like shit. Yeah. That's oh. that's, yeah, that's worth it. Did anybody respond? No. That, 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 that t t like good. It's 120 you know, now. It, that's a good three hours. Just no oh, response. Yeah. Good. Good. Sit in that. I mean, yeah. just let him <laughs> sit. How do you feel? Oh. Yeah, that's soul crushing. <laughs> Crazy. Soul yeah. crushing. Nothing worse than sending out a joke and crickets and then some other topic comes up. Oh, oh no! Right. Oh God! Oh. Somebody Please. just puts a tweet in there of like someone signing somewhere. It's like, but what about what I just? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start apologizing when I have to throw a bad joke. Sorry, guys. It's, yeah. This Ethan, you got to reply to your own bad joke. Yeah. Like, uh, you guys, did you see it? Yeah, guys, did you hello. see it? Because yeah, I ticked off. I thought it was funny. Yeah. I'm texting Ethan right now. Do you really? I mean, do you, do you want me to give you some samples? Of no, no, no. I don't want to. Yeah, I, I just want to give. There's been a lot of Olympics. A lot of Olympics talk in there. A lot of Olympics. A lot of Olympics. I think there was some some soccer talk a little yeah. bit. I, I don't but know. I'd be sometimes I'd be uh, with my girl 
And then the guys group chat I'm in with this um, it's a count the dings uh, group yeah. chat. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there, and these brothers are single, so they be sitting in some wild <laughs> shit. And I open the phone, and there's some ass. I'm like, ah, yeah. baby, uh, damn uh, it, baby, they crazy as hell, ain't like they, yeah. baby? You see this? Mm -hmm. They That's are crazy. Look, there's, this. there's been some questionable <laughs> activity in the hockey chat. There's been some questionable activity in the hockey chat, yeah. and I feel like Mike, Mike polices that just for me. Yeah. Just for me. They're just like, hey, not everybody. It's like, uh, whatever. It's hilarious. I don't really care. Thank God but, you're, you're but not in the golf chat. Thank God you're not in the golf chat, because that right. thing is no. it's a Republican chat, if I've ever been in one. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy, dro Izzy dropped a banger of a joke the other day that had me fucking laughing out loud. I'm not gonna. Yeah, oh, and the puck boys. Yeah, the puck boys. One? Oh, this is yeah. great. I Maybe mean, you'll hear it one day. Oh, yeah. Inside yeah. jokes. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. It was hilarious, Izzy. Thank you. Just so you know, <laughs> it was great. Man, oh, I thought we were out of. <laughs> no, <time>. we're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yes, I, I'm always shocked, like how many group chats Mike Ryan's in, and because I, if one of those group chats is going off, yeah, it's like yo, quick. Like notifications off, so in, I can't imagine like four or five of them in my car. <laughs> when I'm, like I have my Bluetooth hooked up, like the the chat pops up on like my dash thing, and mm. my wife like uh, now she kind of gets it. She's just like what shit chat, and there's like a shit emoji. <laughs> she's like what what is this? And then like like puck Dale talent, like what, oh, she's yeah. like what are these things that you're in? Like I'm in a baseball like bunt Asvai Garcia or something. Like it's it's bleep. Asfa, how do you say his name? Avasil Garcia or yeah, something? Yeah, like close enough. That's who we don't like in that chat. But yeah, it's just I'm in different chats and my wife sees them pop up and she's just like, "What are you? What is this?" Yeah, yeah, like like I well, it helped me in one thing because I didn't have Izzy's number saved either, and all of a sudden everybody's wishing him happy birthday. I'm like, "Oh, okay, now I have this number that I might need for work one day." Yeah. Or if I want to bitch about not having a boat invite or something like that, <laughs> you know, I know I know the number. You know I can what? Text. We're we're Guys, check the, uh, check the check uh, the check the Puck Boys chat. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I want to do something. Oh, I shamed sorry. Ethan. And it took me like ten seconds to get. Get put in into here, it. Chris Cody. <laughs> I wrote. I just wrote to him. Secret hockey chat. Dot dot dot. Hurtful. Right. <laughs> you should have said dead to me. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting the boat reupholstered. So if we have one little uh, Dan Levitard show day, come on down. All right. Can take. About seven. As I'll, long as Ethan's not there. I will be more than honored. I'm going to do a little shout out right now for yes, a random listener. We're going to do two shout outs for two random listeners right now Love that you're just sitting around and, and we we appreciate you so much for listening. Mm -hmm. I want to shout out Derek Gilman right now. Wherever you are, Derek Gilman, yeah, I hope you're having a day you deserve. D Gil. Also, Gilly. Michael Graham. Oh my uh, God. Big Michael Graham. I mm -hmm. hope you're having a day you deserve as well. Salute to you Michael for donating Graham, to Michael Camp Graham. Fiesta. We appreciate you. you. Salute I, to Jeremy Tache. I have one too, actually. Uh, Eddie Fuentes, who I met at Brightside, he gave me a great video of me crying like a baby when the Panthers won the Stanley Cup. Mm. Yeah. Is it your baby. brother? No, no. It's a, it's a guy I met there. <laughs> and he said, he's, I was there with Cynthia. We were, and the guy came and said hi to He was like, oh man, I love the show, love Mystery Crate. I'm a Fuentes too. I'm like, oh, okay, that's uh. cool. And then he had this video. And I'm like, oh, send it to me. I'm like, oh, thank you. And then I just, I've been trying to shout him out. I just keep forgetting. And now oh, good shout so he just reminded me. So thank you, Eddie, for the video. I got yes, one sir. quick question for Greg Cody because uh, Jumping Charlie, I just learned this week, is a peer, is an excited peer. Do you know ways to calm that down? Because I don't want to visit you if your dog's going to pee on my foot. <laughs> I haven't before. figured it out yet. I really no. haven't. <laughs> It's time for you. Sorry. Did we hear was that the part of the sniffle, sniffle yeah. part of the? I don't you know why. That yeah, leave it up. Bump. What was that? Yeah. Well, did you not know we were starting as you were counting down? Yeah, I didn't you know got to myself. Your listening. countdown snuck up on you. Correct. Huh? It did. You. Oh, betcha. Roy. Hey, Roy. Roy. You betcha. betcha. It's presented by DraftKings. Stay tuned because you hear more about DraftKings and all it has to offer throughout the show. DraftKings, the crown is yours. It's a gambling company. It's yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're going to learn more about it throughout the show. So informative. Anyway, we're stuck on no-run first innings, uh, particularly because this show gets recorded in advance, and I can look these games up in advance. So we're going to do no-run first innings. We're going to parlay at Mets at Angels this weekend, Tampa Bay at Houston, and San Francisco at Cincinnati. Yes, you're just going to bet under on the first inning. So basically, you're betting on all these teams to score zero runs in their half of the first inning. You're waiting for a lot of excitement in those first you innings. Betcha. You betcha! You betcha! I want to talk you. about another thing, and that is obviously betcha. when you're watching the Olympics, you're into a lot of sports you normally don't watch. Uh, this past weekend, I discovered air rifles and air pistols, and the outfits are so cool. We talked about it a little bit on the main show, what you guys did about the eyewear. What was her name? Makes you emotional. With you? It's okay. Yeah, her I name is Yeji Kim, I think. Yeah, Jerk Yeji chicken. Kim. So that was the air pistol, the South Korean air pistol. That's it, correct? You can put that up. And we're talking about the eyewear. 
Hmm. I had a really good joke about looks like an Indiana Jones villain. It looks like something out of Spy Kids. Yeah. Did you just say Spy I had a really good joke? I did. And then I, said I did. It. Tony laughed for like three days straight. <laughs> we had, I loved we have it. a great collab on the Doctor Jones yeah. bit. Yeah, you foiled my plan for the last time, Doctor Jones, and then boom, she Ooh. shoots. Nice. But the rifle uh, contestants, they had like these full blown futuristic outfits, and I don't know really what to make of them. Hmm. Seems like a lot for a shooting competition. Seems like these are kids who played video games who grew up to be actual accurate shooters here. Yeah, I think they're going to have what? like an eSport Olympics <laughs> pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's happening too. Thanks for being engaged on this, guys. What we was so else? great? We didn't see the outfits, though, yeah. did we? Well, you know, I have, like, I have like the C I, team I mean, I thought there. you might have more on it. Oh, but the then C team. Like, yeah, know. well, I said it looks great, and you guys all stared at me. The like, C so you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't even have, like, C any team. kind of, yeah, one of them's my brother, and the other one's Jason, who probably has a mouthful of rice right now. <laughs> but, <laughs> Jason's part of our A team. Let's cut yeah, to So is your brother. Yeah, but, but Jason is, like, doing so much all day. That like you gotta like get them in slots, including eating the largest lunches I've ever seen. Jason could put it down. Ah, Jason, like mm-hmm. also the creator of the of the pizza roll up. Yep, that yeah. we never got to the see. The pizza blunt. Yeah, mm-hmm. we gotta get a picture of that blunt. one day. Share it with the audience. Speaking of the future, I saw the ISS pass over Miami this week. Mm-hmm. It was pretty neat. Have you guys ever seen that happen? Is it just like a big ship? Uh, no. So it's like it looks like a a little bit bigger than like the brightest star. And it moves kind of like an airplane, except it stays like in the same spot in the sky and it just like kind of moves over you. Hmm. It's very cool. I saw one of my my meteorologist follows that I, I've been have you guys been keeping up with this tropical disturbance that's oh, no. not no, far. Of course not. Oh, it's coming. No. And it's it may eh, it may good. not be coming. It's, it, uh, it's still too early. It's gonna it usually doesn't short. come. Talk but to I me follow, when it's a cane. I follow yeah. uh, a number of nice South Florida meteorologists. One of them is his name's John Morales. Oh, I mean, yeah, oh yeah, I love that guy. J-Mo. He's, I mean, he's, yeah. he's great, and he tweeted out a little like, "Hey, the ISS is coming. It's going to be over Miami tonight at 9:39." And sure enough, I went out there. Boom! Right there, right in the sky. It was great. Mm. Is that why I saw on social media you and Lehman were out and about last night? Was we it to go out see that? About. Yeah. Were you going to a restaurant? We or did. Something? We went out to eat also. Nice. nice. Yeah. Make it, made a night of it. You know, I'm not a big fan of going out to dinner when I have to get up early at like 6 a.m. the next morning and this morning I remembered why yeah. it's terrible really yeah it's not I just feel terrible the next you morning feel terrible. I only had like two glasses of wine see that's the difference for me I can go out to dinner but I I, I won't drink, drink. Yeah. yeah yeah that's even I, like eating at like a lot huh. of restaurant food like I, I just eat. woke up this morning it was this is an unnatural time for my body to be awake. Yeah. But at the same time, like I don't want to dilute my whole week down to two nights of having fun. Yeah, that's so, also terrible. Yeah, I, I'll just, but I'll tough it out. Like I'll have a bad morning I'll until like a day. Yeah, fuck it. Like, are you guys? Do you have to give yourself pep talks in the morning, like yes. to get up this early as we, as early as we do? <laughs> no, I just lay down in the bathtub. <laughs> well, that's old me. All right, new me just lays in bed and. What is your pep talk? What just, do you say to yourself? I just think of what day it is. Like Monday's hard because it's like shit. It's just Monday. Once you get to Tuesday and Wednesday, you're like, all right, we're almost there. Tuesday's easy because Tuesday, if I'm on the schedule, I know your dad's yeah. here. And then there's like built in content. Yeah. Like, I, I know I'm like, all right, Tuesday will be a easy. good day because Greg's here. I Fridays. don't know if you guys do this, but whenever I'm on the show and I get here at 8 a.m., which means for me, since I live in Lauderdale, it's an hour drive. Same. Yep. Right? I'm yep. up, you know, way earlier than normal. Yeah. I'm out like a light for three hours. Like Afterwards, I'm, I, you're saying? When you get home? Oh, get 100%. Home. Like, I might actually miss the gym sometimes when yeah. I do this show. I, I have to you. take out my contacts when I get home because the lights bother my eyes so much that, like, my, I have, like, a front headache every day at, like, 1.30. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's coming right now. I feel it. Hmm. So as soon as I get home, I take the contacts out, get under a blanket, two-hour nap, like, out I'm a, cold. Monday is a big post-show nap day for me. That's really the only day I'd, I'd say a nap post-show. Have you guys, Did you guys have Charlie Kravitz on Mystery Crate when he was here? Yeah, yes. we did tried you? to kidnap him. It didn't work. You tried to kidnap him, like keep him? Yeah, ah. I think he'd be, he'd be fun to Do yeah. you remember any things you talked about on, on Mystery Crate? Hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't. TV shows, I We think. did the, yeah, like, I did the TV like show skate. rankings. Yeah, yeah TV show rankings I that I found on Twitter. Else. I love oh, Charlie. I worked girl. with Charlie as a producer when he was on HQ and Debatable. And and, Bonafides. Yeah, and now I love that he's like, you can actually see his face now. You went from only hearing his voice to then seeing his fingers mm-hmm. on Debatable to now seeing his full face. Nice That's fingers. Great. Okay, I don't Himbo. Nice face. Yeah, I like Himbo. Yeah, nice guy. Kind of like that. And so I, but every time I see Charlie, I have a little bit of a scare in my body because... It happened to me, that thing where you accidentally send a, a text to the wrong person. And the text that I sent him 
took some explaining. So you, you, he's the one you meant to text, or you sent him I a text on accident? To, I meant to text my buddy Chris. Ah, thank and you. Instead, not you. Oh. Uh, Chris C. Also, oh. but also not you. C. What? And <laughs> C. C. Chris. C. O. C. A. Oh, damn it! Mm. And so I'm further down. I, I want to explain what time this time of year this or time this was for me. Like this was post divorce. Like when I am sort of making up for lost time when it comes to partying, oh boy. having some fun, whatever. <laughs> oh. Like I was, I was the, the buttoned up, like just did nothing as a kid. Like didn't drink till I was in college. Did you text? Then, it was very guarded. Did you text them? You up? No, Question I did mark? not do that. Did not do that. <laughs> 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 Would have been, been easier to explain. I text him, man. I text him. I'll take. Half an ounce. Oh, my man. And, oh, there you go. And 10 tabs. Oh, yes. Whoa. My guy likes to party. At the time, I was, I'd done some uh, hallucinogenics, did some ah. LSD, by the way. For those who ever want to do it or talk, like, look, any, anything you do, just you do did it, it for science. Do it super responsibly. I did a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right. You don't do a whole lot. Otherwise, maybe you can turn it into Stu Gatz. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I sent that to Charlie Kravitz and Holy crap. Oh my God. Did, I, did my stomach just go nuts? It could be way worse. For like five minutes. It He's, could be way worse. I mean, but I'm. This Charlie is, Kravitz is like on the list of people that I could just easily be like, my bad. Which text is, the wrong which person. Which is why. Yeah, but it's my still like answer, a work person. Yeah. When you said tabs, you meant Tylenol. 10 tablets of Tylenol. No, see, right? that would, no. wouldn't have worked, no? right? Because okay. I asked for half an ounce. What else am I asking for a half an ounce of, right? Uh, tequila. So I just said, mm, no. I don't tequila know what and tequila Tylenol is still like maybe not the best combination. Yeah, I was true. like, I look, look, if, I, if I'm going to send a drug order to one of my producers, I better just make it one drug. And then I said, first of all, Charlie, obviously that wasn't for you. <laughs> you could just be ordering the smallest steak ever. Like a half ounce ten, steak. Ten mm. ounce tabs. Steak. Get it? The yeah, tabs that, is that what lost I was looking, I was trying to find the joke me. of like, what could be but half here's, ounce? Here's where I just cross my fingers and I said, man, I hope this dude smokes, right? Yeah. Because Which I, I was he. like, tabs... I meant potatoes. Dabs? Ah. Yeah. Dabs being a... Yeah, a, if that a, was your makeup, he did not believe you. He, he, he responded. I said, first of all, it wasn't for you. Second, sorry about the typo. Just to clear things up, I meant dabs. Oh, dude, you, you made it dabs. worse. Doing too much. You made and it then, worse. And he, and he responded super nice. He was like, oh, that makes much more sense. And then oh. said other things about oh. like uh, being green friendly or whatever. And <laughs> to this day... I just, I have been wanting to tell him and ask him if he just assumed I was some, you know, the Bill Walton uh, just doing LSD all the time. Can we text him and ask him about yes, it? Yes, let's I'm do gonna that. I'm going to text him right let's now. For sure. Should I call he, him? He told all his friends about this. He's oh, like, I've, you guys won't believe well, what Izzy Gutierrez is I'm wondering just texting. Like how many people he told. Yeah. I know he didn't tell Dan. He definitely told Dominique. He told other people. Should I call him or text him? Oh, call him on speaker I'll for call sure. Him let's call him Chris call Cody. Call him Kyle. Loves a call on air. He loves a call on air. Hey, Kyle. I don't know if he'll answer. I've never called him. Chris Cody's so excited because now he's not the one doing it. Yeah. 2017. Yeah, hey, Kyle. Time ago. This is great. I've got him being like, hello? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Hey, Kyle. You're on Mystery Crate. <laughs> Kyle, I think you called the wrong person. <laughs> oh, um, are you not the person who Izzy accidentally texted a drug <laughs> order to? Oh, no, that is me. I was actually... <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I was just thinking about that the other day. Oh. Can you recap the story for us, Charlie? From your yes. angle? <laughs> um, yeah. I had just started producing Highly Questionable. Yeah. And I knew Izzy very tangentially because he had just started hosting the show. Um, I don't even know how I had his number saved. Yeah. I mean, the, you probably didn't. That's probably the reason why. Um, and you sent me like, hey, man, can I pick up a bunch of then tree, tree, tree emojis? And then cap, cap, cap emojis um, at like six today. And I was like, wrong number, but tight. At six today. Did you say cap emojis? I think they were cap emojis. No, I didn't you use sent any an emojis. emoji drug I order? I, you I, loser. I I might have used the the tree for, for the weed order, but I don't know if you remember this part, Charlie, if you can hear me okay. I said I ordered the weed portion, and then I said a number of tabs. Tabs. Yes. Okay, I and then, right. So that's when I text you back and I said, clearly that wasn't meant for you. And I tried to fix my mistakes because, yes, I was ordering tabs of LSD. Instead, I tried to convince you that it was dabs. And oh, no. 
I, I knew. I knew. <laughs> That's what I was trying to figure out. I was I like, just, I, can I get away with a typo here? Can, 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 I, can I, full, full disclosure? Yes. I, I remembered it was tabs, but I didn't know if I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I'm All calling right. you is to make sure. By the way, I'm uh, a very responsible partier, just so you know. Yeah. yeah. I, I believe it. Sounds like it'd be a great time. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. Appreciate <laughs> you picking up. Bye. Those, those 10 tabs are for him Love and you. Anthony over Yeah, they're not a just for himself. Time. I honestly don't even think we used them all because, like, <laughs> it's, it's, look, <laughs> it is a lot. Like, a lot. Doing, doing LSD is a lot of work. Like, <laughs> you've got to prepare. you got to. It's, it's just too much. And I haven't done it since, like, 2018. I like that, that he's still trying to again. protect you there. Yep. That's what that I love sweet. about Charlie. He just came up with a totally different text, even though we called him on the Another air. guy that you can hear smiling when he talks. Yes. Like yes. Pablo Torre. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hear the smile. Hey, what's up, guys? He's like, yeah, I I do remember that. (laughs) Crazy. Check out the Greg Cody show. Yeah. With Greg Cody. If you ever can't find Stu Gatz, we're probably hanging out. (laughs) I saw that there's a a Deadheads for Kamala Zoom call on Thursday. So if Stu Gatz was not at work yesterday. Joe Burrow will be on that. You know why. He'll probably smoke some weed and forget about it. (laughs) 